especially because I've been watching a lot of people that have been that do that kind of thing and they have animations. All right, all right, the story of the bar. Are we filming? Yeah. Okay. That was a very natural opening until you asked if we were filming. Didn't you see me press the thing? I should have counted you in. Well, yeah, you should have counted me in. And and to be honest, you're kind of a dick. What? Because here I am getting ready to go to bed, and they go, oh, hey, the new DM recall is posted. <laughs> the mall. <laughs> so there I am in bed. <laughs> the mall. <laughs> I'm still laughing about the mall. Hank Hill loved it. <laughs> yeah, oh. Hank Hill loved the mall, because it's the mall. <laughs> anyway, so, got this mysterious thing right here. And you may be wondering, what could this possibly be? I don't know. Let's find out. As we blow up the microphone. I have struggle opening this thing. Oh my god. It's an N7 hoodie. I've always wanted one of these. Oh, I got this for Christmas. I gotta thank my parents. Oh, always wanted an N7 hoodie. Anyway, uh, the bar. So, originally this was the intro to the mole story. So, before they had gotten to the corporate sector, uh, in Genesis, good game. They, uh, they were originally doing missions. Now this is the same mission, same planet, that they had, you know, twice kicked out of the door of some unsuspecting man's house. Brutally shotgun hit their girlfriend and then threw them off the roof and 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 then just walked away like there wasn't a problem. So they get a mission and they gotta go and they gotta take out this like small crime boss and like five of his lieutenants. I, de I described this small mining town that has kind of sprung up for the miners, but I also described that there's one bar in this town, pretty popular bar, you know, the, the, and, and that's where the, the targets were. So these guys show up once again, fully armed. And they're just kind of sitting around, you know, asking around, asking about these guys at this bar. When, you know, given the fact that one of the players is a robot, I have some drunks at the bar start hassling them. Because, you know, they took our gerbs. Call them out to the street to, to have a fight with this guy. And so he's just like, eh, screw it. Pulls out a gun and shoots the guy. Just shoots him right there. He turns over, shoots his friend. So all the forms of subtlety at this point are just off. So the rest of the people who are in the bar are like, eh, and they pull out their guns and uh, a murder a hobo away. They have this this really, you know, engaging firefight with these, you know, big five mafia guys and 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 their boss. And eventually they corner the boss in the uh, in the the kitchen of the bar. And they have this long protracted firefight in there where it was hilarious because none of them could hit for shit in this bar. And so basically a lot of them were just spending all their advantages that they were rolling to get um, have like condiments be thrown everywhere. And so the mob boss started doing that. So that poor condiment shelf was grossly overstocked. <laughs> <laughs> Way more, there, there were more condiments on that shelf than there were people in that town. That was a town of about like 15,000 people or something like that. And one bar, you know, because that's smart. And eventually they killed this guy. And then they did something I didn't plan on them doing. They started talking about how they were going to run the bar after that. And I'm just like, what? I kind of explained to them that this bar was kind of like run by the the mafia and they were like you know using it for money laundering because i don't know how money laundering works but they just talk about how they're just going to like run the place and they even put out an ad for bartenders and new staff and i'm just like what do you, what do you guys think is going to happen but you know they start doing that and so they're just kind of looking around surveying their new bar i guess when, you know, the fact that they just, you know, started a firefight comes up. The villagers have come back with their torches and pitchforks because there are five madmen who are shooting up their bar. So the, the hacker steps forward and he gives this big 
rousing speech about how, oh, don't worry about it, we're going to reopen the bar, and drinks are going to be cheaper, and it's all going to be better, and this and that, and this and that. And he rolls, and he rolls like 16, 20 successes, something like that, and one despair. He's like, yeah, it's going to be run by me and my friends, and he gestures to his friends with the robot. And I, and I spend that despair subtly. Just have someone in the crowd go, so the robot's taking our jobs? Now, I did this because he rolled a despair and, you know, it, he did gesture to a robot and he'd be like, no, the robot's not taking your job. The robot's going to serve the bar. So he can, uh, you know, if he was smart enough, he could have spun it something like, he's a robot, he doesn't need to sleep. He can serve drinks 24-7. Eh? Eh? You know, made sense to me because the guy got a success. Or, you know, something, anything, anything except what he does, which, which was whip out his shotgun and open fire on the crowd. Politics. Yeah. Politics. They fight their way out of this town, and they go back to the city that they were doing the missions out of, and then they get a hit on their, on their thing about a guy who's interested in being a bartender. So what do they do? They take the guy to show him what the bar looks like. At this point, I'm just like, are you, you got, I don't think you fully understand <laughs> how consequences work. <laughs> they learned how consequences work because uh, they got attacked by a bounty hunter. And then they're like, hey, why were bounty hunters attacking us? We're bounty hunters. So they pull some strings and find out that they have, you know, insane bounties on their heads. That's why they had to go to the corporate sector. Because, you know, there's nothing more that I could think of, of, well, if we're wanted in the free sectors, let's go to the corporate sector where everyone is unscrupulous and, and, and can be, you know, bought and sold. Uh -huh. We'll find anonymity there. I guess that's the story of how my players thought they owned a bar for reasons I still don't fully understand. But on the bright side, we did get the mole out of it. And, you know, I think that's the best thing ever. But, yeah, I'm the DM, and, um, uh, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. It wasn't apparent what you were doing before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> if somebody hasn't figured it out by now, <coughs> it's, it's almost like one of the things I've said since day one. You steal from one person, it's theft. You steal from everybody, it's research. Comedy! Well, I guess it's not comedy anymore if you have to explain the joke. True. <sighs> yep.